Spider-Man 2099 is slightly broken. Sounds exhausting. That's a topical joke. Dev Diary for Quicksilver and how they built the champion is released. We're going to have a look at that in a second. Has the can't log into game bug been fixed for the players that were affected by that? And Incursions is getting some love soon from Kabam. Soonish, we're going to look into that. Yo, what is up, everybody? It is a brand new week here on the Marvel Tap and Swipe show. Or as they say in German, Marvel Vision und Tippen Sie auf Anzeigen. I knew those German lessons would pay off. Remember, everybody, it, you should just hit, hit the like button, subscribe with post notifications on all. I can't believe we're starting a week doing a little bit of German. But there you go. That's a little bit of German. I don't know how that works for subtitling for people that are German. They'll probably be like confused about that in any case whatever yep um subscribe because we're really close to uh, the next kind of like little bit there 64,000 subscribers so just like hit subscribe it's free please do that thank you and let's do a little bit of micro news micro news is basically small kind of like tidbits of information stories from uh, you know the last couple of days one thing in particular is the can't log in issue. Now, we talked about this on Wednesday when it broke. I think it was like I was on vacation. Well, vacation. I was like for a wedding thing. So I was in a hotel. So, yeah, um, on the by about the 4th of, uh, of August. Uh, and uh, there's still some like backlog of issues with this because if you lost days, you lost calendar progression. If you lost the fact that you were had, I don't know, unit card or some other stuff. So, uh, the summoner camp that's on at the moment, so the sunglasses, people still have some background effect from this uh, when it comes to it. Now, I'm not 100% sure that people were able to get in. Some people were saying, like, you know, Hosky and Global God says, I uh, just logged in for the first time in 23 and a half hours, and Global God says, I'm in. Uh, Frank White says, I'm in as well. Uh, only missed one day of the daily cards. Well, that's still something that Kabams will need to compensate players for. The biggest problem with this is like there doesn't seem to be like extra information. And one in bit of information is there, like, hey everyone, many of you should be able to log in now. We've been manually navigating the issue, the impacted accounts. Furthermore, we have a hot fix going up very soon that should prove prove a blanket fix for the issue. Conversations have now transitioned to compensation. Ah, so here we go. Those who miss rewards as a result of this issue. More updates to come. So that was on the 4th of August. So that was last week. So that's four days ago. Uh, and since then, it's kind of like a little bit of radio silence on some sort of like issues. Uh, but there are still players that are unable to uh, to kind of like access uh, and get in, even as kind of like, you know, early um, as today, as I'm recording this, 7.48 a.m. Still not fixed. I'm really frustrated. Don't get you. I, I, I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't get you. No, I don't blame you. Uh, they didn't give me the war prizes, but I don't know if that was the same reason. So there could be a few other things as well going on. Um, and probably one thing to kind of like quickly check as I record this segment is, is there anything when it comes to hotfix? Because that would be everybody would have the hotfix. So I'm um, just going to quickly go now. No. Currently, there is no hotfix right there. You can see that it still says to open. So, um, so kind of like, yeah, I don't know what's going to go on with that one. But compensation is being thought out for those players that were affected. We just don't know when. And now we move on to Dev Diaries. Okay, so this was a bit, it's a bit of a weird thing because like I would have loved to have seen this champion be put in, or this kind of like Dev Diary be something that was put out, I don't know, um, about two months ago or maybe a month ago to like hype the champion up. I'm so happy to see this because it does give like a bit of a pinpoint. Like Kaban was saying in this particular dev diary that this version is what they started off with. This version of Quicksilver. So the uh, the green uh, with the... Um, which I kind of like that suit. But this one makes more sense from like a tactical futuristic point of view. And actually, you know, IF with it, I think it's, 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 it's a banging suit. And banging kind of like, uh, you know, idea of creation. I also like the way they make this because they kind of like it's kind of like wrapped around the characters. So they kind of wrap it around, which again, really cool. And especially when they come up to things like uh, animations and how they build the particular champion. I mean, look, there's there's like the first bi the first build is like they've they've kind of like grabbed a human torch for kind of like a reference point, um, which I think is really cool um, to to kind of like see that. But also kind of get in an idea of like pacing and things like that and how they build the uh, the certain types of animations. It's very, very uh, clever and it's very, very fun. 
I suppose they needed a kind of a, a human torch because he looks a little bit like him with the hair to get a bit inspired by it. But I guess they got to slow him down because like there, like you just saw the move sets, like how it was kind of like, you know, just to start off it and then they have to kind of like make it like twice as fast. Like like kind of a rocket it right there. So that's pretty, pretty insane and pretty incredible uh, to kind of like see these development standpoints in, in action. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I just skipped through a lot of this and that's just because, like, look, I'm not going to cover a seven minute video in, inside the, the news. It's just not there. By the way, that is a cool train set. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wh whoever this is uh, working at Kabam and I skipped past their name. I love your train set. Like, that is a pretty epic train set right there. Um, so, yeah, go and check it out in the link in the description down below. Quicksilver in the build. How he was mo made from kind of like a very early standpoint from the early concept arts to as well the work in progress. I've watched this free, it's a very interesting um, watch and listen. And yeah, links are in the description down below. Next up, and Spider-Man 2099 has a problem with the exhaustion debuffs. So as I said here, they're no longer preventing Sasquatch's spirit of rage. Very interesting uh, when stuff like this happens, not in a good way, but in kind of like a, you know, Kabam need to take a look at this kind of a way. And as it says right here, that no longer prevents Sasquatch from gaining rage. Uh, I've observed this in practice mode and Grandmaster Gauntlet and tested other ex exhaustion debuffs, Luke Cage, She-Hulk, and they were preventing the rage stacks as expected. And here's a little video to kind of like showcase this in action. So yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't sound too great with this. So you kind of go like, okay, so this is meant to be preventing the rage. So we've got there a little bit of build up, a little bit of build up more. And uh, it looks like kind of like he, he went over to rage. Let's just kind of like just have another kind of quick look uh, over this. Man, I do like Spider-Man 2099. Definitely a great option for Grandmaster Gauntlet as well as other champions are. Uh, but yeah, man, something needs to be questioned there about the AI because it's just like it, 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 it isn't great. It isn't great. A bit more information for context is that uh, in now in duels and also exhausting, not preventing spirit of rage, AQ, that exhaustion isn't working as before. Uh, and yeah, Kabam are kind of like looking to take this like, you know, seriously enough. Uh, just heads up, passes on uh, info to videos along to the team, uh, though probably won't have any more updates until this week. So yeah, um, next week, they, so this week in, in particular. So yeah, it looks like there could be a slight issue with it, especially depending if you're looking to do this with the uh, the interaction. So if you're looking to do uh, the exhaustion interaction, then, you know, could be slightly broken. Have caution uh, with this. Maybe wait a little while. And if you're thinking about Grandmaster Gauntlet and using the champion against uh, the likes of Sasquatch. And now let's move on and talk about incursions. Funnily enough, I'm going to be doing an incursions video very, very soon. I went back into it with Super Duper Boo and uh, we, uh, we kind of like had a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun as well, but there was a lot of things that I found that the game mode is lacking, right? And I will be explaining that in a future video, but it will be kind of like good because it will go round circle on, uh, on these particular problems, issues when it comes to rewards, uh, the fun of the game mode, the AI and so much more okay so the biggest thing that uh, it's kind of like has been the comparison is how Battlegrounds uh, is the equ equivalent to that other game mode and how kind of like incursions should be on that same level of, of fun and especially rewarding for what you get back from it uh, and also some of the nodes that you get for in incursions from like uh, some of the like hacks and things like are going a little bit kind of like skew if and also the time, like the amount of time that you invest into it. But that's another story for another video. I do want to like jump to, you know, thoughts and, and feelings towards this. Uh, and, you know, uh, as Colin says here, easy updates that I'd like to see. Rewards are juicy as what you can get in Battleground Store. Shorter champ cooldowns, change the five day cycle. I mean, that I totally agree with, but it needs to go farther and beyond. The AI is trash in incursions. The AI profiles have been made in such a way that it's just stupid. But also the extent of bosses with notes. Again, I'll go elaborate more in uh, in other videos uh, on that. And um and kind of like that. But there is kind of good news uh, with uh, with incursions. Hey summoners, I always like to see a little more love for incursions on the forums. It's not without its flaws. Overall, I think it's an underrated game mode. Yes and no. It needs like it's a it's a good game mode, and I did enjoy kind of going back to it. But it needs work still, the same way that Battlegrounds does. But I feel like it's less work need to be done in incursions because it's like 
well, less work would need to be done to it than there would need to be battlegrounds. The game is definitely receiving attention behind the scenes and receive updates in the coming months. We'll have more information to share soon. I feel I need to make my video soon as well. Um, matchmaking as well, that's definitely another thing that I need to kind of add to the list. And, uh, and then I need to ping it to Kabam and just say, look, you know, uh, could you look into these things? So I'll also get like uh, player and community feedback on, on stuff before I kind of make the video as to like what other players would want to see. Uh, but we'll take it um, from uh, from there. But it's good. It's good that like people are, are kind of like interested in the game mode a bit more. I'm interested as well, but I think I'm interested because I want six star shards from it for... Um, for the likes of Quicksilver and Gallon Crystals towards the um, next uh, three months. Wow, three months away from those. And now we end the show with arena results and predictions for round two of Blade, yes, and Silver Surfer, yes. The results and predictions are as follows. So results wise, it looks like that Blade has gone a lot further with uh, the cutoff than I thought it would. So yeah, crazy, crazy kind of like in a basic to see like nearly 80 mil and that's the, that's the sad thing with it, you know, uh, 74 mil got 101 and then 77 mil got 100. That's based on some information that I've seen. Uh, so yeah, that's going to mean some crazy numbers into the, uh, the kind of grind for round two. Also, when it comes to Silver Surfer, very low. So if you're looking to make a prestige bump, then uh, at least putting in close to about 80 mil, again, it's going to get you that six star uh, more than likely. So predictions for round two, um, you know, low cutoffs for the five star blade if you want a sneaky blade and the same thing with, uh, with kind of Silver Surfer if you want Silver Surfer. But I'm going with 80 mil for the six star in round two, 30 mil for the five star. Six star blade, I'm going with 80 mil, and the five star blade, I'm going with 15 mil. So, gonna give you an indication like where people are with grind on this. Uh, looks like a lot of people are interested in blade. Good luck in the round two if you're going out to grind either champion. I'm just end by saying thank you very much to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a patron. You're on screen right now. I will be live streaming at some point on YouTube this week. Also on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. That's where I live stream a lot of the time. I do M2C. Do Fall Guys and do any other game that I might be interested in at the time. So come on by for that. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much to everybody. If you do have an Amazon Prime account, give a free Twitch sub to a streamer. doesn't have to be me, but massively helps out me and the channel if you could do that. And I'll see you tonight for a little sneaky live stream. And uh, yes. And thank you to all for watching this video. There'll be more content later on today and also through this week, especially as a lot of champions I want to work on, especially with Gallon. So look out for a continuing Gallon series with the Cosmic line. So yeah, see you later on. Bye-bye, everybody.